almost a week off. Sir. Well, you know, Peter, it was a difficult week because uh, uh, every day you're practicing or um, playing games, preparing, going over what uh, you know, what your team did, what the other team did. So then, all of a sudden, it's over, and it's sort of a, uh, it's sort of a, uh, uh, it's a bit of a shock to your system. Uh, I'm extremely proud of what uh, of what the team accomplished, considering all of the uh, all of the difficulties that we had with uh, uh, with uh, with the team that I took over in January and the team that I ended up playing with, uh, you know, in the finals. Um, to go against a, a team like Amsterdam, which also had some problems, but still had, you know, the two MVPs on the floor and. Uh, uh, you know the very very good 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 starting five that they had and 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 go to seven games with them I thought was outstanding uh for our group to to have have taken them that far unfortunately we did lose which obviously hurts but um you know when we had lost Dean Oliver in that third game or fourth game whatever it was that was such a blow to us uh because he's such an important player to our team that uh I really think uh uh even though we did lose the the seventh game to get to a seventh game was quite an accomplishment. Now the season's over. You have two, three months until the preparation starts for the next season. What are your plans? What are you going to do now? Well, we're we're working. Uh, you know, the people here at Eiffel, uh, uh, myself, and, and our coaches, we're working on what type of team we want to put together next year. What kind of changes we want to make. Uh, the continuity we want to try to keep. We want to try to keep the nucleus of the team together. Um, you know, so it's a a lot of a lot of situations are being thrown on the table. Uh, there's an economic situation that's important. I mean, players like all workers. Some players uh, are not satisfied with the financial situation, and they're looking to make more. Uh, sometimes we can't meet the demands of the players, so that means there's going to be some changes. Uh, sometimes we're not satisfied with some players and want to have an upgrade at a position. So we're in negotiation right now with players. We're in constant communication. You know about the the future structure of the team, but I, I can tell you this: it's going to be a team that's going to be pretty good defensively. It's going to be a team that's going to be good rebounding wise, and uh, you know we're going to we're going to basically be the same team philosophically that we were all season long. Uh, when uh, would you like to start with the first practice? Which date? You well, we're mind? probably going to start in late August, and uh, it's not so much the it's the the practice date's not as important as the date of getting all the players back and situated. So we, we're going to leave like a two or three day period window where they will return, get their housing straight, you know, straightened out, get settled, and then be ready to go. We'll have a, we'll have, we'll, we'll, we'll be a standard preseason where we're going to try to play somewhere between eight and 11 games in the preseason uh, and then, and then uh, have that done, give us one week to prepare for the opening, uh, opening game, which right now is scheduled for the 3rd of October. Uh, but it will be a pretty standard, you know, European preseason game plan. Uh, we're going to play in some tournaments. Um, we're we're going to have some home games, uh, but it's it's going to be a you know uh, a normal situation, I think. Do you have a short message for the fans? Yeah, I I don't know whether this was covered in the in the in the live uh, in the live uh, broadcast or in any of the media because I didn't I didn't see any of the media after the after the finals, but. You know, I, I just personally want to thank the fans for coming out. Um, we had great, great home attendance during the playoffs, uh, both in the Groningen series and, 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 and in the Amsterdam series. And, you know, for all those guys that came up to Amsterdam to see us play in the games up there, unfortunately we never won one up there, but, uh, you know, it was, just, it was just great. And, you know, I want to extend my personal thanks from, you know, myself and my coaches and, and, and the team because, you know, it's just, it's just it's so much better uh, to play in front of people that are, are clapping for you and supporting you no matter no matter what the result is I, I think uh, you know I think one one thing I've got to say is that uh, uh, from the time I took over the team and the energy and the effort that the team gave you know f for me I think was very uh, very well accepted by the fans uh, we're going to be uh, again the same type of team we hope to be a little bit more up tempo we hope to present uh, exciting basketball. Uh, we hope to present basketball that's fun to watch. And we invite you all out to, you know, come come watch us and come be part of what we're going to do because we're going to definitely go for the championship again. And uh, between the, the Dutch schedule, the Holland schedule with 
the cup games and the, and the regular season games. It's going to be exciting, and, and we hope to have a real exciting run in Europe.